the number of chirps per minute C that the tree cricket makes is linearly dependent on the temperature T in Fahrenheit. The crickets do not chirp at all at 40 degrees, and at 50 degrees they chirp about 42 times per minute. Part A, we're asked to express the number of chirps C in terms of the temperature C. To find the equation that relates C and T, we'll write the given information as ordered pairs, then use the ordered pairs to find the linear equation. Because we want to express C in terms of T, T is the input variable and C is the output variable, and therefore each ordered pair will be in the form of T comma C. Where again, T is the temperature in Fahrenheit, and C is the number of chirps per minute. So going back to the given information, the crickets do not chirp at all at 40 degrees. This would be the ordered pair 40 comma zero, again because the first value is the temperature, the second value is the number of chirps per minute. And then we're also told at 50 degrees, they chirp 42 times per minute, which would be the ordered pair 50 comma 42. A linear equation in slope intercept form is in the form y equals mx plus v, where x is the input variable and y is the output variable. But because we're writing C in terms of T, our equation is going to be in the form of C equals MT plus B. So if we can determine M, the slope, and B, the vertical intercept, we'll have our equation of C in terms of T. We know to find the slope given two points. We use this formula here, where the slope M is equal to the change of y, which in this case would be the change of c, divided by the change of x, which in this case would be the change in t. So to keep things organized, let's call this ordered pair t sub one comma c sub one, this ordered pair t sub two comma c sub two. So c sub two minus c sub one is 42 minus zero, T sub two minus T sub one is 50 minus 40. Simplifying, we get 42 divided by 10, which equals 4.2. So now because we know the slope is equal to 4.2, we'll substitute 4.2 for M in our equation. So now we know that C must equal 4.2 times T plus B. To find the value of B, we'll use one of the ordered pairs and perform substitution for T and C, and then solve for B. Let's go ahead and use this first ordered pair here. So let's substitute zero for C and 40 for T. So this will give us the equation zero equals 4.2 times 40 plus B. So we have zero equals 4.2 times 40 equals 168. So we have zero equals 168 plus B. Solving for B, we subtract 168 on both sides, and we have B equals negative 168. And now we'll substitute this value for B into our equation, which will give us the equation C equals 4.2T minus 168. So this is the equation we need for part A. Notice C equals is already here, so we only enter 4.2T minus 168. Now for part B, we're asked to determine how many chirps per minute will the crickets make at 60 degrees. So using our equation, we want to find the value of C when T equals 60. So we'd have C of 60, which equals 4.2 times 60 minus 168. Let's go ahead and find this function value on the calculator. So we have 4.2 times 60 minus 168. Enter, and this gives us 84. And remember C is number of chirps per minute. So looking at part B, our answer is 84 and the units which we select here, again, is chirps per minute.
I hope you found this helpful.